I have been asked to make a video about the fittings by more than one subscriber and I'm finally gonna make this answer this question do the valves leak when you disconnect them and lose vacuum uh, you know as if they were leaking internally down down inside or when you twist them so here we have I turned off the vacuum you can see when I had the vacuum on right here I was down to 69 microns. When I turned off the vacuum valve here, I closed it down, I shut the vacuum off to the lines. It is holding vacuum at roughly 859 vac uh, microns. This is just contaminants and moisture that it's picking up with the vacuum off that's inside the hoses themselves. If these were metal lines, it would not go up that high if they were clean and dry, if they had no moisture content or refrigerant oil and refrigerant contaminant held in the pores of the metal and the oil flashing off, that raises your micron level. But because I have rubber hoses, you have that loss. So the question was, when you disconnect them, do they leak? Well, here they are disconnected and they are not leaking. As you can see, it's holding vacuum, 890 microns. You hook them up, Whoop. it would be nice if you had the right one there. You hook them up. I didn't screw them down or anything. They're just hooked up. We're 900 microns. You disconnect them, there's no leakage. Still 900 microns. Then the other question is, do they leak when you screw them, you know, when they're disconnected and you screw them? So when you do this, let me get this over here so you could see it at the same time. I'm screwing them in. You can see me screwing them in. There we go. Then I'll screw and shut this one in. And you'll see that there's no there's no loss. There they are. Now that would normally have the pintle came all the way down right there. You can see that little pintle sticking up. That has moved down and that would depress the valve Schrader core right there stem and open it up to the system. As you see, it's holding vacuum. It's still at 900 micron range. Now I'm gonna open them back up again. And the only difference is, is that pintle moves backwards in inside. Instead of being right out there, it'll back up because you're on a threaded shaft that moves that pintle back as you thread it out. So I hope this answers your question about whether do these leak when they're disconnected and they don't. Now, if you have any questions, if you have any doubts that one is leaking, all you do is you repeat the test and you turn one off. And so you're reading the micron level of just one line. And when you want to read the other line, you would close this one, then open that one and repeat your test. Then you found out which one is leaking. Then what you can do, if you think it's leaking inside here, pour a little vacuum oil in there or nylog. And what that will do is it will seal the, the O-ring seating that's way down inside of there and the vacuum cannot pull through a thick oil like nylon or vacuum oil. If it's not really big, it'll suck all the oil in. But if it's a minute leak, then just the oil itself that you pour inside here will stop the leak. Then you know it's your seal inside. But if it's the seal that comes from the shaft that goes through the body that has our O-ring inside there, you get nylon, silicone grease or something like that, and you put it all the way around, and I showed this in other videos. You put it all the way around the circumference of the thread, and you put your nylog up there where that shaft comes through. Because that's the only other spot where a leaking vacuum could come through. So if you put nylogs there and you put it there and the vacuum leak stops, then you know it's inside the shaft O-ring inside the system. Some manufacturers put these little sections right here with adapters and there's an o-ring right here that could leak so you take that apart put some dielectric grease in there or nylog and then put it back on that'll stop the vacuum leak so i hope that answers your question um ask questions and if i remember or i get around to them eventually i'll make a video about that if it's not too time consuming that's one of my biggest things that hold me from making long videos or too many is I have enough time usually only to do one video 
on at one location once and that's about it rest i gotta bust my ass and get the work done because there's jobs to be done all right see you guys hope that answered your questions